Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here back in the Thousand Week Reich in which we're playing as everyone's favorite Russian Republic under some guy named Nabokov, but we gotta talk about Yakut language reform. With the expression of minorities on the upswing, the issue of the language has come to light, as it did during the early Soviet period. This time, the matter of linguistic and orthographic reform has sprung up in none other than the coal mining government of Yakutia. Where indigenous Yakut leaders entertain the idea of a new non kyrillic script, particularly Simon Nogorodop's plan based on the international phonetic alphabet. Yakut intellectuals are not united, however, and with some more pantrachic inclinations, have suggested an alphabet similar to the proposed Latin based Yanalif alphabet for the Tatar language. Whatever the script, however, both sides agree the Yakut people and the non Russians within Russia as a whole deserve the right to their own scripts. So, uh, the end scripts fits the intricacies of the language. Yanalif will collect them to the Turkic brethren. Who cares? They should be speaking Russian anyway. So oh, we'll go. We're, we're doing a more liberal Russia. Uh, liberal Russia. So probably not that way. Uh, connect them to the. Connect them to, we'll go with the N word first. As we're still doing, of course, open Jewish centers, which I think I heard last time, um, as well as the Religious Schooling Act. We can also denounce extremism as well. Political extremism is rampant in the world we find ourselves in. It's up to the brave souls of Russia to extinguish its terrible flames. Free Russia must take a firm stance against all radical communists and fascists the world over. But we got some comments such as, if you think this is based on the Russian Republic, I'm not sure we can actually go on to form the European Union. Someone, sa someone else says, a truly blessed path for Russia. Uh, someone says, pro-America Russia, wow. Someone else says, let's have a rescue reference. Someone else says, join the Toronto Accord, please. I don't know if we can. That'd be kind of cool, so. And then someone else says, the worst path for Russia, or even the best path for Russia. The Religious Schooling Act has passed. Uh, despite the opposition's strong stance, Kadetti's efforts to push past, pushing past their bill has succeeded. Vladimir Nabokov remarked that this was a truly great political victory for the Kadetti and proved the people's opinion in government. It's a great major step forward for the policy agenda of the Kadetti. Excellent. And I did make sure that we did get it. Um, didn't have to use any consequences. It's pretty easy. We started with very little support, even with our own party, but then you just got to maybe even add an amendment and just keep clicking on adding more support. But our righteousness among nations. Also, we should have here. Tip for some more war support. President Vladimir Nabokov attended the opening of the first state funded Jewish cultural center today, speaking at great length about the unbreakable alliance between modern Russia and its Jewish population. Received with polite applause, Nabokov was quick to invite his hopeful electorates to, to see the, uh, the facility for themselves. While well, it's far from what they'd hoped for, as much as the furnishings appear to be at least 20 years old or out of date, they can at least call their own. As preparations for a grandiose wedding quickly began, it would appear that Nabokov's bid to win over new voters finally paid off. Mazel Tov to new Jewish friends. Uh, Showcase Jewish multiculturalism. Or not Jewish multiculturalism, but Russian multiculturalism. God, this really wants to kill, destroy Russia. Russia is way more than just Russians. We should champion the reality of a diverse Russia of many peoples pledging their allegiance to a nation which protects and serves them. And a tolerant Russia. The Russian Republic now stands as the model of racial and gender tolerance that the world can learn much from. Perhaps even our role models in America and Great Britain can one day learn to overcome their own prejudice societies and become true democracies for all men. Well, we'll see. Damage enemy garrisons in our states occupied by the enemies? Well, that's actually not too bad. I mean, if you have... You know, of course, here. Does it? Hey, you're still. I see. I should play this GGR again here. I really should. I don't mind trying to pass stuff. It's not bad. And we can also reunify Russia. News that recently come from the city of Vladivostok. As. Has been officially announced that the last cells of organized Soviet resistance have fallen, thus marking the end of warlordism in Russia. President Vladimir Nabokov, in a radio and TV address, expressed warm thanks to the people of Russia and went on to say that Russia's future was brighter than ever. The ruling Constitutional Democratic Party is a direct descendant of the Imperial Russian Imperial Party of the same name. Current leader of the Constitutional Democrats, Vladimir Nabokov, is the son of a leader of the party who was assassinated in exile in 1922, and supported policies of equality for women and minorities, expanded economic liberties, and limited scale societal or social programs. Our rights for the future are secured. Is that all we get? Okay. The 1958 Yekaterinburg mayoral election. Throughout Russia, mayoral elections are, of course, common, an expression of the people's will to determine how even their cities run, a democratic process, relatively. Relatively uncommon in the Russian Empire and the Soviet Union, in a republic they have become a frequent event in larger cities, such as Vladivostok, Novosibirsk, Parm, and Krasnoyarsk. But these mayoral elections are rarely receiving much national attention and are typically considered as part of local politics. A recent election in the city of Yekaterinburg, however, has bucked that tradition. Most. No, most infamously for the side of the Empatia House, where the Romanov family was executed in 1918. The recent mayoral election in Yekaterinburg resulted in an unexpected landslide victory for a little-known opposition candidate. Candidate promising anti-corruption construction of affordable housing in order to stop homelessness and rapid deployment of infrastructure and industry. Promised to turn Yekaterinburg into a Detroit of the Urals, new mayor Boris Nikolaevich Yeltsin has no political experience whatsoever, having previously been a construction worker in a speech. To the press following his victory, Yeltsin said he had no further political ambitions for the time being and fulfilling. His electoral promises rose only his goal at the present. Perhaps he will be president one day. Well, we'll see. I suppose he's been out some time. Also, they are fighting a lot of guys, aren't they? What's going on here? Oh, I guess the Toronto Corps is trying to beat up the Mediterranean Pact. I guess Italy did get nuked quite a few times. Um, yeah, I guess the, the Trieste... Rome definitely got nuked. Trieste definitely got nuked, so I didn't show you that, but... 
They definitely got blown up. The Taunt Russia? Do we want to Taunt Russia? In this campaign, yes. But everything else, no. Maybe not. We'll see. Oh god, what the heck? Why did you split up like this? The Independent State of Croatia? Serbia? Why is Serbia in two? Croatia, why? <coughs> why? A bunch of ultra-nationalists. Um, at this point, I'm just kind of waiting to see... Ooh, is it not bad to get rid of? Uh, while the Red Army is clearly a force of criminals, there are some whose criminal aims can be excused for the merit of their activities or defiance, but be ideological or pragmatic to the devilish Bolshevik. I'm just waiting to get a bigger army until we go to war with the Germans. So, that'll hurt us for a year, but getting this stuff will be much better. Better tanks. Honestly, we're not even really using tanks, but I'm starting to run out of things about, like research, so... Medium tank threes. Yeah, let's replace them with 50s. It's fine. Yeah, not bad. Could be better, but not bad. Um, we're still building up civvies. We built up some more uh, refineries. Or not refineries, but supply uh, zones. Supply points. So, I got a good stuff. Yeah, we built one down here too, which would be very good. It's not connected, but that's because we're building the rails right now. Um. It's not very good up here, but I want to keep making more millies. Because we definitely need more millies, too. So, do that real quick. And, uh, there we go. And we have some decaf coffee. Not normal coffee, but just decaf. Because, yeah, at the time of recording, it's a little late for me. God, am I not a caffeine addict, or what? Later stations, because he can. Dismantling the archaic bureaucracy. Standard and finally abolish inefficient, abuse and miscalculated system of Bolshevik bureaucracy. There's, oh... Oh! The Germans actually intervene! Have we seen that before? Nice! Their system was designed to serve the party, not the people. That'll come in handy for us. Oh, heck yeah. French Commune, interesting. Democratic Socialist France. Voting begins in the 58th election. As the energetic cycle reaches its close, the Russian people are on the way. To oh, there goes Italy. Uh, to voting booth for the 1958 parliamentary election. The second since 1917. Oh, there goes. Oh, Germany got nuked. People around Russia tune in to the news to hear the results on the radio, many for the first time. Today, the parliamentary election has been held again. As the votes come in, we can now see the winner is the Constitutional Democratic Party under Vladimir Nabokov. Which... I don't think I've... Who's leading Germany? Bormann! You're, uh, you're getting older, but Jesus Christ, I know you're paranoid, but my goodness. My goodness. He just got Germania nuked. Oh, well, look at that. We actually did get a few more seats. Not bad. <clears throat> Anti-communist re-education. Now that our land back in our hands, we must get rid of all the rotten pieces of the Bolshevik that fell into the land before and during the struggle for liberty. These stains on our glorious republic shall be erased. I guess if you really want to do that too, that's fine with me. Um, yeah, 1970 is a bit ahead of time for us. It's 58. Yep. Missiles? Why not? What are we lacking here? Nothing, except planes, probably, and then we'll be lacking a lot more stuff soon anyways, but whatever. Nice. We And I want to race to cross AA line as fast as possible, because I want to take out Germany. I really do. Ban the hammer and sickle. Ooh, this looks really good. Even better. Our government is finally moving to ban the evil hatred, or the evil, uh, hateful symbols of the former elitist regime. No more shall our people bear witness to these disgusting symbols. Uh, for the Navy that we totally have right now. And then, uh, economic shock therapy. Oh, look at that. After years of an inefficient communist plan economy, we shall make plans to kickstart the economy. And what better way is there to traumatize someone than, or something than shock therapy? And in the dustbin of history. Well, the oppressive Bolsheviks are no more. Now that not but a relic of a terrible past, where people can finally turn a new leaf under the banner of the Russian Republic. Free and indivisible. Crossing the AA line. It's time to take back what was taken from us long ago. We must free our lands to the West. And capture more lands than what the Americans could do. But, profits from Australia. So called land down under lays a kind of full of vast opportunity for those who seek it, and as long as they stand some of uh, as long as they stand as some of our geographically closest allies, it's only logical that we befriend the freedom loving people of Australia. Let's go in. Let's have a good time. Can we go in? No? Wait, can we not cross? Oh. These are decisions? Bro. Just go in. Do we need can we just go to war with one of them? We might just need to go to war with one of them. Um close out this one for now. Hello. No? Nothing there? Cool. We've got plenty of stuff as well. Oh, we even have some pre-war casts. Not good, but still, it's still, it's still cast. I'm going to use. Doesn't matter to me. Go, go, go! Because the Americans are flooding. Well, they're. I don't want to say they're flooding, but they're slowly going through southern Germany, northern Austria, but well, and Italy. So, 
if we can get all the way to Poland and have, have them as a puppet us as well, I would be okay with that. I'd be okay with that. Second West Russian War, huh? Uh, almost 58. Sure, guys. Yeah, why not? You can do that. Because you can. And actually, I was going to go ahead and go to uh, Total Mobilization. We're going to demobilize a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, crap. I didn't even give these guys orders. I'm going. You might want to take Volgo Grad instead of just running around it or running past it. I'm not finally going to get an aggression pack. I'd rather join your lines, if possible. So, yeah. They have a. Oh, are you kidding me? The new Ordnung has 127 divisions max? We have 73. Bruh. Germany. I know you've been nuked, and you totally deserved it, but still. Um, trade with Japan. While the Empire of Japan has for years struggled under the heel of military destruction and foreign occupation, they are looking towards what could easily become an economic boom. As they are one of our close neighbors, we should open relations with the land of the rising sun. Oh, now we're finding some Germans here to get rid of, too. Pretty cool. New World Overtures. The New World is full of unimaginable economic and military power and stands as the sole bulwark against totalitarian Nazism. So we must strengthen our economic ties with the U.S. and share in the arsenal of freedom. Yeah, we'll see. And integrate the Caucasus? Oh, yes, please. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. We gotta need a lot more political power first, though. If you guys hurry up, that'd be best for everybody. What are we missing? Your attack bombers? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Eh, not bad. Some more of that. I know stuff is all head to town, but I don't really care at this point. Build and grow. Build and grow. We lost 2,000 versus 64,000. Not bad. Not too shabby so far. I'll take out Armenia probably as well. We'll see. Oh, more political power. That'd be nice. I can sell Mongolia? Yeah, we'll see. Um, honestly, all this military stuff doesn't really matter too much. I mean, it'd be nice to do, but all this other, like, this ideology specific stuff, we'll try to get through that stuff first. So, Joe Japan. Not like it really does that much force, anyways, but whatever. Cool. Keep going, guys. You're doing great. You need uh, something here. Oh, Caucasus is gone. As they should be gone. Are we missing anything else? No, Cass, yeah, makes sense. Uh, we're going to get Ukraine. Uh, Caucasus first. Moscow would be nice, but yeah, restore order to the GGR. Looking pretty good so far. A delegation to Washington. America has been one of the greatest allies of modern history, the treasonous Bolsheviks notwithstanding. Assisting the anti-red forces during the Civil War, Uncle Sam also housed many of our greatest leaders and eventually, of his rebirth of the glorious republic. Our debt to the Americans is immense. It's high time we began repaying them th th with his debt. Ah, uh, American capitalism. Always making sure you can control other people. That's the way we like it. They do not deserve this. Yeah, they're not going to get any of this stuff. Oh, hello, some little Dutch boys there. Little Dutchy Arenos. Ivana has been wounded. Well, get, get off your butt. And it's okay, you're wounded. We'll keep moving. Ah, uh, 105 divisions max. That sucks. Yeah, Germany must be really weak. It'd be interesting to go, to go from the side and try to beat up America. That might be possible. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a bad cough now. Oh, I'm getting old. I'm getting ancient. If we do this, we get we get basically all that fuel, so we're done. Reconcile with the uh, Mongolians or friends of the Arctic. Yeah, what is the first? Our relationship with the Mongolia has been a tense one ever since their independence in 1911. And while they maintain the communist regime, it would be of no use to us to continue antagonizing a regime that we have no reason to do so. For the sake of political stability in Central Asia, we will turn over a new leaf with Mon the Mongols. Muscovy is completely gone. That's very nice. No, we're just. You're just literally blitzing through everything. Ostlemberg and Lemberg? Very nice. <coughs> Keep going, guys. You're doing fantastic. 
Oh! Oh, Brussels! Oh, those poor Belgians. They deserved it, though. I love Gross Veldstadt of Germania. Except when it gets nuked, but whatever. Riga. 4,000 losses, not bad. Um, maybe we could do Ukraine next. Ausland. Oh, I really want. Eh, we'll see. I don't know. I want a lot of things. Poland. Belarus is completely ours now. I'm closing. The well, we already have the Black Sea. Hello. Bro, you're missing one tile here. Barrison, America. What you doing? Ooh, that's not good. If anything, we can send you back this way. Oh, that's fine. Friends of the Arctic. While much of Europe remains under the jackboot of fascism, much of Scandinavia has remained large and escaped by war. That's a gradual push towards the west and must befriend the remaining free nations of Europe and the north. Well, we don't have to. Yes, we can if we need to. Artillery. There you go. Could use more rubber, too. I'll do Ukraine first, because we liberated them before Austin. Hey, you're in Germany proper. Beautiful. Much faster than the Americans. My god, they're taking forever. Oh, are we out of guns, too? Oh, yes, we are now. Not for now. <clears throat> Germania must be ours. Ding dong, don't get encircled. Mitzenwald? Germania? Yes. Is that good? <coughs> uh -huh. Slovakia? Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Ah, oh, the Slovaks have capitulated. Oh, they stopped giving us stuff because they stopped supplying us what, with what we were lacking. Man, they, they're taking forever to get through this side. It well, must be really intense fighting here, but, you know, I guess we technically don't have anybody to kill here, but still. Still. Actually, yeah. Korean trade. Arsenal democracy. The Russian nation was once a great industrial power, admittedly thanks to the industrialization efforts of the little Bolshevik government. As it stands now, though, we can end up to bring liberation to the peoples under the German boot. Why don't you ask American friends if they can possibly give us assistance we need? You sure we can't take out Germany? You sure? We just won. I'll make this really ugly. The AI can deal with liberating all this stuff. Because I don't feel like it. There you go. Um, they can deal with Greece as well. Where is Greece? Hellenic State. Montenegro. UK can deal with uh, Italian East Africa. I don't think anyone cares about that stuff. Um, America. Deal with it. They can have Austria. And you know what? They probably can have that part too. But other than that, we're taking the rest of this stuff. We deserved it. And we literally own it. Maybe not that one. But whatever. Yep, there goes Belgium. Alright, not bad. New capital? At long last, historical capital of the Russias is in our ownership once again. As we consolidate a rule over new reunified Russia, we have an opportunity to change the capital city accordingly. The question is, where should it be? Liberation of Estonia? What? Bro. I never agreed to this. Fate of Germany, our mortal enemies now defeated. Uh, direct Occupy, occupy, whatever. However, as we, uh, as a civilized nation, we will not seek to destroy the Germans as they did us. We will rehabilitate them until they're ready to rejoin the civilized world. Until then, we'll occupy the country with whatever force by necessary. Fate of Czechoslovakia. Azerbaijan, but... 
Why would we do this? Bro, Danish occupation. Occupied in uh, Topol, Denmark should now be reorganized as a transitional government in order to prepare Denmark for eventual independence. Danish occupation command will assume the task of reconstructing Denmark and hand over its authority to reconstruct the Danish government once everything else is ready. SS Oldenstock, Denmark. New capital? Uh. Let's go. This is disgusting. A skinny Germany. Why? I wanted to core this stuff, you pieces of doo doo. Oh, this is the problem with a liberal Russia. Oh my goodness. National liberalism. Hold on, let's go through this, some of these. Our some democracy. Um, Korean trade. While Korea had been under the Japanese occupation for decades, is now a closely, relatively friendly neighbor. The Republic of Korea is not only a rising power in East Asia, but also a staunch anti communist regime that deserves all the backing we can give it. Open trade with Korea will be the beginning of the relationship. Why can't you deploy? In uh, allied countries, makes no sense. German Republic, Vladimir Vitkovsky, Italian Thaw, Joseph Meyer, Social Democracies, Transitional Regime, Stanislaw, Social Patriotism, America Declines. Oh, you goddamn Americans! Classical liberalism with us, of course. Um, God dang it. Authoritarian democracy? What the heck? I thought you were supposed to be liberals. Social liberals? Conservative liberals? Conservative liberals. I feel cheated, man. Norwegian liberation. Norwegian has finally been liberated from the European tyranny. While our occupation is a friendly one, we must set up a temporary administration to ensure a smooth transition from dictatorship back to a free, independent Norway. Time comes fairly time to let Norway's transition back to a normal, functional nation. Let's help Norway. Uh, SS Lundstadt, Social Democracy. Resistance Council. Leader of the SS Oldenstadt, Denmark. <laughs> Hans Hedolf. Well, Alright. Well, I guess we still got. Still take out Georgia, I guess. Nothing, nothing says liberalism like taking out the. Russian, Russians taking out Georgia, I guess. Join the Toronto Court. Oh. It's high time we formalize our ties with the free world and join the Toronto Court for economic freedom and the preservation of personal liberty. It shall be our duty to spread. That's a good word from far to Siberia, the plains of Europe. And if we do this, then we can. I'll give Germany all this territory back, so. So ugly. What the heck happened down here? Croatia, you. You got split up even more with the Serbs. How are they independent now? America must have released them. Oh my goodness. Why? <laughs> oh man, why? Return Polish cores? Is this a computing? Go to that too, that's fine. Nevsky Grad. So, Walsk. Oh, these ones over here. No. Oh, those are the ones down there. Well, crap. Are you kidding me? I feel cheated, man. I feel really cheated. Mr. Unders, German deportation program. German deportation program. Twice. They have two port programs going at the same time. Embassy for experience. Yeah, accepted. Look at that. Our quest to join the Toronto Court Allegiance of Free Nations, Alliance of Free Nations, has been accepted. The free world grows stronger. Uh, well. At this point, let's go into that. Still in total mobilization. UK recognizes the Delhi government. At this point, I'm done doing the focuses. I just want to make sure we can do whatever we need to do here. Duma? Get your own manpower. <coughs> what? Why are you poking so hard into here? Oh, we gave up so much more territory. Hold on. Alright, let's make this a little better. And here... Excuse me, um, there you go. There you go. 
And now, since we became allies again, or we are allies, you're going to get this territory back. It's not yours. God, America. So greedy. Should be cores. Well, apparently it's not. And there goes Georgia with the backing of the Toronto Accord. Germany surrenders, of course. <coughs> Bet of Georgia. Um I don't necessarily want to do that. You had an occupation in Germany. German Confederate. What? Are you kidding me? Why? Why would we allow this to happen? Total disarmament. Oh, I hate the Toronto Accord so much. Why would we give up our own puppet, man? What the heck? God, a liberal Russia is screwing us over. We got what we wanted. But everyone hates Armenians. Between the Russians, Americans, Turks, Japanese, Azerbaijanis, everyone hates the Armenians. Well, I'm glad we took what we did at the, when it was time. Let me guess, who wants to release these guys too? Well, how's it by Jean Democratic Republic? Of course they take that. Uh, oh god! Uh, but I think that's probably where we're going to end it here today. Um, not bad campaign, relatively short, simple, quick. I kind of liked it. I don't like this whole peace deal. Wish it could be kind of different, but you know what? Whatever. The world is in the Toronto Accords, and there's no one else that can really stop us. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.